Buying a flag of convenience is as easy as typing in flagsofconvenience.com. This will take you to a site that will give you all the information you need in order to reflag your vessel straight over the internet. If you're a fishing vessel owner, this is where you come to get a flag that allows you to avoid measures that have been taken either by countries or by regional fishery management organizations to either protect, conserve, or manage fish stocks. This shows you the various countries that give flags convenience. Halfway down is Mongolia. This is a completely landlocked country in the middle of Asia. It has no ocean, it has no seaports. Why does a country like this have a ship's registry? If we open up Mongolia's file and their requirements for their flag of convenience, we'll see that they're incredibly basic. They show you the incentives, very competitive fees, low taxes, no profit tax or capital gain tax. There's no restriction on crew nationality. Significantly, there are no restrictions on the ownership of any ship uh, registered in the Mongolian ship registry. That means anybody at any time from anywhere can register a ship. Scroll down and we'll see what the requirements are for a permanent registration. The original copy of the Declaration of Ownership, a bill of sale, and a deletion certificate from the previous registry, if that's applicable. That's really it. These documents are very easily forged. This is all done by fax. You send it in by fax, they send it back by fax. They never look at the vessel, they never double check. No one can believe that a country smack bang in the middle of Central Asia with no oceans of its own, or a country like Honduras that barely has the resources to patrol its own coastal waters is gonna enforce the activities of vessels thousands of miles away flying their flags. It's a loophole that has to be closed. As long as there are flags convenience, it's gonna be extremely difficult to eradicate illegal pirate fishing.